How many women were you seeing at the time? Maybe 15 to 20. <laughs> Norman, that's a lot of women. I was single and uh, I'm a very friendly person. They knew that I was not looking for a relationship. Um, so friends with benefits. Here in East Tennessee, you may recognize that face. That is Norman Clark. He's been accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend, Brittany Eldridge. Tried for that crime twice. Just four months ago, Knox County prosecutors chose to drop their case against him. Now he's opening up about the circumstances that led to the affair. NBC's Andrea Canning shares this sneak peek. As a boy, Norman had dreams of playing in the NBA. But by his mid-20s, he was working here, Vanderbilt Mortgage and Finance. 23-year-old Brittany Eldridge started there the very same day. Norman and Brittany were collectors, calling people to make sure they kept up with their house payments. What was it about Brittany that you formed this instant connection with? She was very good at the job, so I actually used her as a tool at first to teach me, so she helped me out a lot, and that's when we started you know, talking more and more about different things other than work. So it was just strictly platonic, you know, strictly friends. Um, but then it just developed more probably eight months later. It developed a lot more. They became lovers. And that's when things got complicated. Norman was single. But Brittany, it turns out, was married. So for obvious reasons, Norman and Brittany kept their relationship on the down low. Then in February 2011, their secret affair became not so secret. Brittany's husband found out, and not long after, she moved out and a divorce was in the works. Not long after moving out, Brittany delivered some unexpected news to her mother, Robin. She was pregnant, and the father was her coworker, Norman Clark. And you can watch the rest of that story tonight on Dateline that airs at 10 o'clock right here on Channel 10.